That does not work as a catchphrase. Uh, shush Rich. Yeah. I'm Audrey Drake, and Woo! I'm here with Jeremy Parrish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. It was a good Jeremy Parrish impression. Jeremy. Yeah, let's see if you can beat it. Sam Claiborne. What's up, everybody? Richard George. Yeah. And that was a good Mark Ryan Stilley. I don't know if anyone can actually hear me introducing you. But Mark you're Ryan. Here. Mark Ryan, everybody. So Mark, Mark, Ryan, Mark Ryan hasn't been on our podcast in a long time. A last, very long time. Last because. time. Because the last time he was here, he made these terrible statements about a link to the past. Wait, is that why I haven't been invited back? <laughs> yeah. Did no one tell you? <laughs> but, yeah. then, but then you bought a 3DS XL and all has been forgiven. Now he's back. That, that and the Metroid Prime thing, which I... I I'm, I know you like Metroid Prime. That's not a problem. What's the Metroid Prime thing? It's the first, first person, person adventure argument. Oh, yeah. Don't, oh. Don't, don't, don't to the past thing, he said that it's a terrible game. I didn't say it was a terrible game. I said, said it was, was the worst Zelda game. He said, was, <laughs> he said it was a terrible game because guys in bushes attack you and he can't handle it. And bombs. That's, that's, that's fairly accurate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like it. anyway, for those of you watching our video podcast, video cast thing, you know that we're playing Luigi's... Just say video a few more times. We're playing Luigi's Mansion 2 yeah. this week, which is pretty good, and, and we're going to uh, talk about it in a little bit. All five of us have played well, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Luigi's Mansion 2 to all of you UK Everybody friends. but out here. Have, here, you, but uh, here. Yes. have you played it, Rich? <laughs> yeah, I'm about halfway. I'm in okay. the clock tower. So, so Mark Ryan just got a 3DS, and he Spoilers. got to play <laughs> Luigi's Mansion, <laughs> Yep, which is nice. amazing. What yep. are you thinking? Uh, I'm, I'm liking it so far. I'm only in the second mansion. So no story, story spoilers. I don't want to hear okay. Luigi just, hunts ghosts. I'm just kidding. I don't care about the story at all. Egad's a bastard. Is there a story? What? Egad's awesome. No, he's terrible. I love he's Egad. like torturing stupid Luigi and like sending him off on. Well, Luigi's like, I don't want to go fight ghosts. He's like, too bad, bitch. He's Get helping go. him. He's helping him expand his horizon. Come on. Right. Is that really his plan? Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. this is okay. That's why Did you hear Audrey's explanation for, for when good. Audrey Drake, the Egad apologist? I love Egad. He's awesome. Did you, I walked over to Audrey's desk and I said, you know what? I think <laughs> I think Luigi might might be. Mentally retarded. <laughs> and she said, he's not. He's just scared. <laughs> and I thought that was the greatest explanation ever. No, I don't know. Back me up, Back me up. He's just Bowser's just right. lonely. Luigi's just scared. This is all true. I think the amount of like personality that they put into Luigi is actually really cool. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's really, someone pointed this out to me. He's really the braver brother. Because even though he's afraid, he does it anyway. No, no, no. It's true. No, he doesn't. He gets made to, to go do do this thing like you can't make w- someone ghost bust yeah but isn't gets, lack of fear really bravery to no, 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 no. A, a haunted mansion and there's no escape then he yes. gets sticks in there and goes <laughs> unless you go get that key i am not bringing you back he may here. or may not pixelate him i'm not saying that doesn't happen but he's brave and he's awesome and he's not retarded now, <laughs> we're going to discuss Luigi's The year of Mansion. Luigi. That, year of Luigi. That needs to be the headline of this podcast. <laughs> Luigi's not retarded. He's brave and he's what? Uh, okay. Oh, this right. is always is going so is it, well. Is this is, is why that, I don't host. No, you're hosting great. Is it true that L is real? Yes. <laughs> 2041. <Nice. laughs> anyway, so we're going to discuss Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon in a little bit. But first, a 3DS showcase is happening. Yay. A week and a half from now. And they're going to show off some 3DS games. So what do you guys think? What do you want to see? Well, uh, games. What are, what oh, could, wow. They, <laughs> they announced all the games they're putting out for the so summer. Could we possibly expect anything new? If I think they, that's safe. It's possible. If I don't go it's home possible. with an Animal Crossing limited edition oh, God, DS, I know. DS, it's a little bit of time one. With yeah. the little clarify. leaves yes. on it. A 3DS show. Is angry. that like a, an in-person event? So, or is so that basically, like the, it's like this no, like five hour. No, like folds up a 3DS. <laughs> it's basically this five-hour event like at a hotel where they're going to let us roam around and try out all these different 3DS oh, cool. games. And there's a presentation. And a probably probably short. Hey, do they chain wow. girls to DSs in this event? Always. <laughs> That's only for E3. Those That's girls, only for E3. Those That's girls they always the have the 3DSs chained to them. Sometimes they, they keep just the girls. Let them they out. just keep coming back. Exactly. They keep the girls in cold storage until E3, each year, <laughs> so that they don't age. Would you yeah. like to play a game? <laughs> How about a about game uh, of chess? You are looking handsome today. <laughs> <laughs> you Thank you, this, DS girl. You push this button to move the character. Anyway, they're or, real humans. So. I always liked how at E3 they're like <laughs> Mario hosting girls were nowhere uh-huh. to be found. It was just the Luigi's Mansion ones. You're like, where's Mario? I was like, eh. 
<laughs> like nobody knew either. Yeah. I love when you ask them questions and they're like, uh, "Well, it's because they didn't roll out Mario until the very last Luigi. day." Yeah, that was that was brilliant. But he too. kept on asking. Yeah, to see if he could play. yeah. Um, keep, him, keep him coming back. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I, I think this event's gonna be what tennis and Animal Crossing. It's gotta be tennis. Not, no, sorry, no. golf. golf. I mean. That's right. It's gotta be Animal tennis Crossing. Tennis is really bad, so I hope golf is like changes a lot. Yeah, yeah. tennis was disappointing. Are you saying um, I should remove tennis from my wish list? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the only, so it's, it's just it's a competent little cartoony tennis game, but there's no. Um, power things for each character. The characters aren't any different. Yeah. Like, you can play as a me or Bowser, they're exactly the same. Yeah, I would say it's fun, but compared I mean, they to have past slight titles. titles Replace tennis with tetanus, it's and it's going to be a better experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mario tetanus. That might be a bit wow. wow. extreme. That's why you call Dr. Mario. <laughs> uh, Donkey Kong Country returns 3D, oh, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. imagine. That's, and like, that's, that's out next month, isn't it? Do what? That's out next month, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, so they probably are going to show it. They better have that there. Yeah. The only uh, thing I'm interested in seeing that is that development. we're still <laughs> still at alpha. It should look good running on the 3DS, but other than that, I mean, we've all we've all played it. Yeah, I'm actually right. curious. Like, I is there something haven't. new in there? I don't. Know. I mean, we don't know. Yeah. I haven't played so. it. I'm actually really well, all right, excited. Then. There we go. So, <laughs> w- would you play that would on portable. 3DS then? Oh yeah, because you skipped it on Wii. What are you gonna do? Play it on Wii? No. I wanted to, I wanted to play Aww. it on Wii, but then <laughs> I was too much in a box. Yeah. Well, there's some where's some motion controls that are essential in the Wii game. I mean, they're not essential motion controls, but they're you're there a button press. I was gonna say, yeah. would yeah. we call yeah. shaking the remote I'm to blow? I'm just essential. saying they can't just leave it out. No, no. So they're gonna have to make that a shoulder button. And it'll be a lot better for it actually, because I hated. I'm like, really, guys? You can still shake your 3DS. T- gyro. The screen will be like gyro, dude. <laughs> That's actually a problem I have with uh, Luigi's Mansion. Is yeah. every once in a while it asks you to you know, use tilt control, mm-hmm. and whenever you do that, it breaks a 3D Wait, view. Wait, they're gonna make us blow into the. 3DS. They are for the flowers. And stuff. What did you yeah. do for that? In, Can't wait to play it's on okay, the boss. Rich. What did you do in, in the Wii version for that to blow on the flowers? And stuff? I can't remember. Did you just shake near it or something? I no, can't I think remember. you. I think you pressed down and shook. Or something like that because he you does made like him blow. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember exactly. Maybe it's just a button. But I bet you're but, gonna um, blow into the mic. You're right. No, they're not gonna do that. They might. I'm gonna see gonna be on a train. Gonna, Donkey Kong's oh. just gonna be sitting there going. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've seen crazier things on the bus. So well, we live in San Francisco. So. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, yep, yep. that's not saying a lot. Yeah. So you but guys be expecting... like, wait a minute, why are you acting crazy? You don't smell like pee. <laughs> 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 so I yeah, so it. so I think it's safe, right? Donkey Kong, Animal Crossing. I think golf is actually pretty safe. Yeah. Uh, Mario and Luigi. Is that new? Uh, yeah, Mario Golf. There'll, is there'll, there'll be some. It. There'll be some it's a little early. Games. Maybe. Um, like what? I don't know. Project Cross Zone. Maybe. Yeah. The new Mega Man? <laughs> what new <laughs> Mega Man? It's not funny. Punch right no. in the face. <laughs> they said they're no. getting it or something. They said they're thinking, they're, about, they're it. thinking they're, about it. They're talking going. about it. We're still... <laughs> that that know, means like every really week. Funny. That means every week... Uh, We're Brett, still talking Brett about Mega Man. Brett sends out an email and he's like... <laughs> Mega He's Man? Like, guys, can we have a Mega Man game? And <laughs> and Japan says no. Uh, <laughs> Maybe wait for it to pick it up. They're still well, just trying to stick no, it to the Wii U. the Miiverse it? makes its way to 3DS. It is it's going supposed to. to eventually. They've already yeah. announced it. It's yeah. coming okay. to. Uh, they announced that? They still haven't gotten yeah. it working the way they quite want it on 3D. Uh, yeah, it's actually so. coming to smartphone. No, no, and to May. be fair, nothing is quite right. working the way it ought to on Wii U. Even if it was out today and you tried to go to it, you would have to wait a few weeks to actually get there. So that's a Wii U loading joke for the people. I get, get it. We, we got I get it. it. Yeah, we, so, we got it. So it's coming to PC and smartphone in May, and they said the 3DS version is to follow, but they didn't okay. say when. Okay. So. I, I mean, that would be back great. On the, I would love back that. On the, they just said smartphone? Wagon. They did say smartphone. They didn't say iPhone? Just one. Well, just one smartphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming to Zoro on a smartphone. Here's, here's one thing, so that people, because people do this a lot, Nintendo fans, hello. Uh, don't expect too Are much, right? This is too close to E3, but not... Like it, it, it's a little too far to be anything huge because it's E3, and so don't you know it, we're, you're not going to get a new Zelda game revealed. Don't no, like, but I just wonder crazy. why they're like some localization but... announcements. Like maybe, maybe they'll finally announce Bravely Default, or, or maybe something. Fantasy Life, something like that. Because That'd I think be yeah. I think I saw a story get out there that that maybe there was a trademark filed for that or something yeah, here, or something yeah. like that. Did you say but Fantasy Life? Fantasy Life. It's the they Brownie could, uh, Brown RPG that yeah. uh, came None out. None of these words mean anything. It's to like me. <laughs> imagine Animal Crossing meets more like traditional RPG. I think. I Did you Did you play the bonus game and the? Professor Layton game before the most recent one. Oh yeah, the yeah, little RPG. Yeah, yeah. That was London eighty Mike. hours long. Yeah. yeah. Is it like that? RG loved reviewing. It's the same game. Oh cool, awesome. It's, Fantasy Life is derived oh. from London Life, oh. unless I'm totally mistaken I didn't on this. Know that but... really? Yeah, it's, it's level really five weird. and Brown, right? Yeah. 
Oh wait, is it is it Brownie Brown or is it level five? Brownie Brown does the artwork. Oh, okay, there we go. Cool. Level five cool. is the like the the developer of the game itself, but Brownie Brown does those cute little. Oh, you guys keep saying this thing, Brownie Brown. Brownie Brown such a good is name. a developer. It's like Brown versus of, the Board of Education. It's comprised of uh, former <laughs> Square <laughs> Enix people. Okay. Wow. Um, established like ten years ago, they've been okay. around. A lot of people have been suggesting Pokemon news. I really Pokemon don't was, think we're going to get Pokemon, Pokemon news. Pokemon stuff is usually done separately because yeah. it's... Like this it's Saturday. Such, it's because a, it's not Nintendo. Yeah, the Saturday, the Saturday Pokemon news is coming. We don't know and what it is. We won't care at all. No. I mean, Are they going to announce a six no, actually, That's they're actually, assessment. Yeah. There actually have been leaks online. We don't know if it's real. Really? Of, that hideous Mewtwo like that looks Mew like a... Mew 3. Yeah. No Mew way! Form. I know, I know. But it's really funny. But it's horrible looking. It looks like... An what amorphous. Do you it looks like an amorphous Mewtwo. Rich, the evolution of a mutant. What do you expect? It's a little Something like. that looks decent. Does it look like the artists at Pokemon would conceive it? Because sometimes people, you know, try to draw a Pokemon. It just doesn't look like a Pokemon. I mean, it could go either way. There are some crazy. I mean, there's an ice cream cone Pokemon. Yeah, there's so. a pile My of garbage. garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's named so... Garbador. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Garbage well, then. No, the, the news is probably going to be like, here is a new Pokemon that will be an XY. Or it's... it might be like, here are the evolutions of the starters. Here's or... the equivalent of Zubat. Stop, stop anticipating so much, Audrey. But I can dream until it turns out it's just like here's an the, app or something. Here's the pointless normal type <laughs> scrub that you're going to have to fight 2,000 of in the first five hours of Nintendo the game. Should just yeah. I want it to just be Lilla Michael Pup Robot 3. Brody to develop yeah. all the new Pokemon, right? <laughs> That'd be great. He makes better characters Brody. than all the new Pokemon. Can yeah. you defeat this Rattata that's in the top 5% of all Rattatas? <laughs> <laughs> special special combat event. Look, as long as Only Badoof is back, this will be This Badoof game. has 2 HP more than the last Badoof yes. you fought. Yeah. The evolution of Badoof. <laughs> This Bidoof is shiny on the inside. Oh, how do you find that out? You have to they cut just it tell open. you. They oh have it. They, 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 how do you find it out? They have an event on the weekend, ah. so you have to work on the weekend to find Genius. out if Bidoof is shiny. <laughs> what do you want to be? It's just gonna be like Pokemon anime news. Yes, we're doing another movie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it has been a year. How about that? See, season yeah. thir- thirteen confirmed. Straight to DVD. Uh, the destiny of the Ash Deoxys still hasn't hit puberty, but that's okay. <laughs> I just um, found out that major stars do the voices of uh, Pokemon uh, characters in Japan. Like big like, stars. Like the Pokemon or the people? Like, no, Takashi like the, Miike? just characters the in the show. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. So like Takashi Miike. Is and, that the one uh, who died that did Pikachu? No, he's like... Oh, he Takashi, does, that's a man. Yeah, terrible, horrible movies. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, no. There's, get, uh, there's like pop of, idols. like Adoro Lots of AV stars. Okay. So, so yeah. for the American localizations, which American stars? Well, that's the thing. Which I American want... stars would you want to post Nicholas different Cage. Pokemon? Nolan <laughs> North, Chandelure. He would, do every, he would do every Pokemon voice, though. Mm-hmm. Nicholas Cage would do every Pokemon and voice. And that would be the greatest game of all time. Yeah. Clint Eastwood for Geodude. Yeah. Yes. Sure. I can see or that. Gravelo. Well, yeah. who's, who's, a cool, who's like a really cool Pokemon? Like the Squirtle Squad? I can see like Christian hey, Slater um, doing that. Sam, I have bad news <laughs> for you. Uh, that would be funny. But no Pokemon is actually cool. What a about squirtle Abra? with sunglasses. Abra. Jeremy, squirtle get out of my podcast. Right? Squirtle with sunglasses, am I right? Exactly. He's the cool Pokemon. How do you sit? He's got sunglasses. Plus, there's one that's an ice cream cone. Didn't you hear that? Yeah. Crocodile. That is cool. He also <laughs> has sunglasses. Can you sunglasses. name your own Pokemon? Yeah. You can. I had a tor- I, uh, Torterra that I named Slamphibian. Mm-hmm. And Nintendo's <laughs> Nintendo's people at, a, at an event saw that and were like, we, we want to hire you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and I said, nice. as, mu- as much fun as it would be Somebody to be the guy who... <laughs> Names Pokemon. I remember. Past. I wow. think it was um, when we did the review of one of the Pokemon games. I think Jack gave one of the Pokemon an odd name. Yeah. Well, the odd gra- being a nice word, and I think someone thing, said something, and I can't remember. The great thing was that we had to recapture all that footage because yes, 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 they yes. said they they didn't like that name. And didn't we call? <laughs> well, didn't yeah. we call, um, that makes no sense because when we first had Animal Crossing in the office for GameCube, uh, Mark, or sorry, uh, 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 Matt Casmesina. And Mark, well, I probably was on also. Astown, yeah, right? Yeah, Astopia ah. was the name of their town. That, that made it into the video review. Oh, it's everywhere. It's in every screenshot. And then, and then the like actual the character's name is some, like Buttman or something. Yeah. <laughs> Buttman in Astopia. When, when, Animal Crossing yeah. comes in, when Animal Crossing comes in, you have to call it Astopia. That's what I was going to say. I will not I mean, call it Astopia. Oh, we got to carry on. It's an IGN tradition. It is a oh. tradition. It is a tradition. I name it Shigtown. No. That's what? No. Shigatown? That's After dirty. Shigeru Miyamoto. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> you're in Shigatown. <laughs> Shigatown. That's All really right. weird. Toki Tori 2. Best segue ever. It's a bird. Yeah. There's a bird it's and he does bird, things. It's not a bird, it's a game. I will it's say it's my third favorite game ever to star a Kiwi. 
After Are you going to ask me about my little story? Please. Yeah, you got one. Ivy the Kiwi? You got the other. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my fourth favorite is, Evie though, the Kiwi. is this, uh, yeah, yeah, Evie, yeah, is the uh, Tasmanian Devil game, the second one for Super Nintendo, in which you race against Kiwis that are running alongside you. Do Flickies wow. count as Kiwis? I, I think Flickies is chicken, You just answered bro. your own uh, question there, Jeremy. Is Evie the Kiwi uh, collectible yet? Flicky is his own island, by the way. I doubt it. Um, Toki Tori, too, though. I don't think any, this is a I don't speculation. Think anything by Prope will ever be collectible. No. We, we used to get uh, NPD sales numbers. Yeah. And we saw that uh, Evie the Kiwi had sold something like, in its opening month, you know, 1500 It was under 1000 it, it was only one that was under 1000 Oh, that's Aww. a good game. And, and, and we knew at that, at that time that we had to go buy it. It's because yeah. they put a question <laughs> mark in the title. Yeah. They weren't even Evie the Kiwi? It wasn't, it wasn't Ivy yeah. the Kiwi. It was Ivy the Kiwi? Kiwi? Yeah. Bees? <laughs> <laughs> That's what stopped me from buying it for so long. I know. It's a like, good game. If this game's not certain about itself, how can I be confident? Go in buy it? this game, Koopalings. It needs your help. So, to have so I, and I think I've gone through Wii speculation stuff before, but that's I think definitely going to be a rarity. But uh, another one is uh, the Mad Dog McCree games and the Lethal Enforcer uh, ports. Yeah. The, there's a Mad Dog. And then McCree. anything about terrorists. There's a Mad that's Dog McCree speculation. game on 3DS eShop. Did Target Terror make it to the Wii? Yeah. Did it? I think if it's not Target, yeah, I think that's Target Terror specifically did. If, if uh, eBay is awesome. any, any indication, Evie the Kiwi is not rare at all. <laughs> yeah, but that's what that's can what be, can it be purchased for less than a dollar ninety nine? It's currently the, the the top result is ninety nine cents with one day left. I bet I bet I you could on buy. I think it's like two bucks. I bet Maybe you could buy five. Little Samson or Bubble Bubble Part Two in nineteen ninety four for ninety nine cents somewhere. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's how speculation works, people. Yeah. All but, right. You so, can buy all the Nino Kuni collector too. sets you want. Oh. We don't want to talk about Toki Let's, Tori please, 2, clearly. Please talk about Toki Tori 2. It's on my list. Well, it you can talk about your reviewing it. Right? My list. So yeah. Toki Tori is, 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 a, good, right? is a game it starring is good. Kiwi. Yeah. It's puzzled though, right? It's about a little baby chick who's on a journey to save his world. It's a puzzle platform From evil. Yeah. So like you're, you're in a stuck area and you have to kind of get through that. Yeah, area. so basically there are a bunch of levels and you have to get through them, get to these checkpoints and it's just... That's a great description of well, video games. It sounds like there's a bunch of levels game. and you have to get through to them to get to places. The there's nose. a tutorial <laughs> where... <laughs> There's, there's, there's things... no tutorials, actually. There's no, not a single word of text I would in compare it to game. Mario versus Donkey Kong. It's kind of like a puzzle platformer. Yeah, it is a puzzle platformer. Uh, he jumps for himself. All you literally do to control him is move left and right and uh, stomp or whistle. Yeah, That's you, every, yeah, he all can't, the puzzles you, you are around You clear that. puzzles entirely by manipulating the animals in the environment. Yeah, it's not like the first game. There are no items or weapons that you get. Okay. Everything you do is just interacting with the environment. Jump. You can't jump. You can't jump. He, yeah. uh, he auto jumps. All you do is interact with the environment and with the creatures in it by stomping and whistling, and that's how you solve the various puzzles. I, w- I would say yeah. it's almost more Oddworld-ish. Yeah, in yeah. a sense, it's hmm. really it's gorgeous. It, you've played it, like some of you have played it. It's really beautiful looking. No, it's. Uh, I, I was we'll a really tonight. big fan of the original game, which came out at the end of the Game Boy Color's life. When Capcom did this weird thing where they were like, "Hey, this system's dying, and no one wants to buy it anymore, so let's release a bunch of really cool games." <laughs> yeah. So they came out with that and Shantae and a couple of others, and no one bought them. I think Metapon or something. And um, like, I was the only person who bought them because no one else cared about Game Boy Color at that point. Did you beat and, uh, Toki Tori, the original? I didn't quite beat it, but I got really the far into it, and it's is, it's very challenging. It's tough. But yeah. it was a, it was a, it was actually like a technical showpiece for the Game mm-hmm. Boy Color. It had some really crazy graphic effects going on that you would have thought, Whoa, why would, why would they put this much effort into a Game Boy Color game? But they did, and it was great. It was a, it was a real labor of love. And yeah, that's exactly game, what this one is. Yeah, the too. new game plays very differently, but it still has that same sort of like made by like three crazy people who really, really care about it. That's what it was. Actually, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, and it's got the same hero from the first game confirmed. That's the same chicken. I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very long time. He's, he's been a chick for a very long time. Continuity is important for these He types has that of games. disease and he's very insecure about it, so probably should bring it up. Um, Gary, kind of the Ash Gary Ketchum Coleman-ism? of chickens. Yes. <laughs> um, speaking of graphical showcases, Sam Way. Uh, Sam, Sam Way. I just wanted to go back and say, and we're watching this right now, but uh, Luigi's Mansion is a freaking graphical powerhouse in the 3DS. This mansion is great. my favorite mansion. So what? it's not it's not just that it's graphically right impressive it's, it's that next level oh, right. games put so much detail right <laughs> put so much detail into every environment like i don't know most games you play these days yeah look what's you have happening right very, now on the screen everyone well, and the detail this matters you have, you have you have very very detailed worlds and environments but nothing's interactive mm-hmm. like it's just you know just run past them yeah you're just in these in these boxes that have a lot of stuff painted on the walls yeah but you can't interact with any of it 
And Luigi's Mansion, you can't, like, take things and just run around to them, you know, like, move, remove a pot or a chandelier. I or love something. everything rattles. But, yeah. but when, you, when you interact with it by blowing it or, you know, using your vacuum on it, like, it moves. Like, it feels like everything in the environment is there. Yeah. Which is a it's it's a weirdly uncommon experience Absolutely. in video games these days, and to see them do that on on the 3DS when there's so many you know uh, next gen console games or in PC games that don't do that, it's uh and, yeah I don't know it's, it's, it's a little it's allowed to do that because the pacing of the game it's just a, yeah. it's such a different it's, game it's a it's point an adventure and click game. adventure yeah. but it, it's done so much better. like I just played the cave mm -hmm. like I think Luigi's Mansion Spoilers. takes that idea to. It does so much more interesting things with it. Cave is cave. inferior to Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, which Absolutely I'm surprised inferior. by because I think Ron Gilbert's really great and like a lot of his I was games. Well, Rich I and I are like two of the only people in the office who were not impressed by the cave. I really don't like really? the cave. <laughs> you know, I, I think um, the, the you know the folks behind the cave and and just um, that style of game tend to kind of fall back on the con very conservative approach, whereas Nintendo always falls back on making things more arcadey. So what they've done is they've made a point-and-click adventure game yeah. that you don't use like the the cursor metaphor to to get through. Like you are a character moving through the point-and-click adventure, and you have uh, the ability to interact directly with objects. So it takes out that level of abstraction and makes it more like an action game or an adventure game. And then it has you know um, all the things you can find, like the gem pieces and the money and, and that sort of thing, to encourage replay. So it has that arcade sense of like going back and striving for a better score, but. You know that's that's optional if you don't. Really that's sort of what that. Nintendo's best at is they take this traditional idea and they find a way to make it surprising. They give you yeah, something like that yeah, they give you something that you wouldn't expect within this traditional concept. Pikmin is like Command and Conquer <laughs> that you could play at the arcade. Yeah. And speaking of like just the score being important, that that's one thing that it's definitely missing is that I can't come to work and just be like, guys, look what I've done in this game. Like, there's not anything that really forces me or makes me want to share my score. And like, I I feel like they're missing out with that because. And it doesn't need to be just be like a high score system. I, I like what like Fire Emblem did, where it's like you have a really strong team, and yeah, that yeah. forces people to think about how strong your team is. And mm -hmm. it's really clever how they did that in Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah, I'm afraid so. to fight you. System. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm in Mark Ryan's game. What's your renown at? Do you know? It's over ten thousand. I can't remember. What over it is. ten thousand. That's not a lot. That was you just, almost a Dragon I'm, Ball Z. I just I know, broke my scouter. <laughs> I'm aiming for twenty thousand. But nice. 100,000 is the max. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, I think it's like 99,000. Yeah, I, I got a million games to play right now, though. Yeah, so I'll yeah. probably go back to it, though. I'm really like... Oh, you, great. Audrey Predictive. got me through the first couple levels of Insane. Yeah, we did the Lunatic So days. now I can actually play the Lunatic. Yeah, you know, now you can actually level up. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a really Thanks, amazing Audrey. game. Thanks, Audrey. You're welcome, Sam. She's really good at games. If anybody out yes. there doesn't know that, oh, yeah? Audrey, I think, is the, probably the best game player in the office. Yeah. So Mark Ryan. They're both wow. here. Oh, thank you. It's, yeah. it's yeah. scary. I like to scare Rich. Are you One good at games? The highlights of my day. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, that's the thing. We're all professionals. Used, we, yeah, can, yeah. we can beat games. Just, I used to be really like great. Like back in the NES days, I would do crazy stuff like play Contra on One Life or beat yeah. Battletoads or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. Well, so, can I'm, you do those I've feats done that. of strength anymore? Uh, probably not. I bet Contra on One Life. I don't know. That's brutal. If you practiced, I'm sure it would come back to you. Actually, Contra was just on one credit. Uh, Life Force, I did beat on One Life though. Well, you need all your lives for the final boss in Contra. Yeah, because you can make mistakes so easily. Um, Man, I do not have the patience for that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's, that's by the, the thing, time I, I have the patience. time or patience to play games like that anymore, I'm fine with playing a more casual experience because yeah. I'm, I'm not a kid anymore, and I don't, you know, I don't somehow conflate my sense of pride, my personal pride, with my ability to play video games. I still do. Okay. <laughs> well, that's why it's You're nice to have share. Yeah, yeah. You're like 20 years younger than me. <laughs> that's why it's Is nice that to have things that make you share. <laughs> Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm really old. <laughs> All right. Well, happy so... 60th, Jeremy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 40 this now. This is Audrey's 40. <laughs> Getting too old for this shit. Anyway, so we talked about Toki Tori as much as you guys are probably going to talk about it. It is a bird. Like. Yeah. It does well, have it's a bird. It's not on 3DS. I'll play it more. No, no, they actually said. Yeah, I'm not interested. They said Mark Ryan just wants 3DS. They games. said that actually they're interested in making a 3DS version. So if this one sells well, they, they maybe might. they should just so make the 3DS version. If you really want to play it on 3DS, it on you get Wii to buy U. it twice. So wait, they, they put it they put it on the Wii U and then and then say if it sells well enough, we'll put it on other things. You got to do it the other way around. Put yeah. it on something popular and then like sure we'll bring Aww. it to. You. Well, come on. I don't, I don't mean that yeah. as a hit, no, but honestly. No. If it defies the odds, then we'll, trans we'll, we'll move it on to another system. All right. Oh, wait, I'm going to anticipate your next se segue. 
uh, with with some music. Ready? Ready, go. Dun 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 I already talked about this game on a podcast My this week. My life's been a duck blur so. really? since I found yeah, out about done. this news. I, was on a, I know. I'm done. I, I've I've just extricated that song from my head, You're and welcome. then Tao started singing it yesterday, and now you guys. <laughs> well, are he found it. out it sounds just like that Hall and Oates song. Um, what? Did you have you heard, compared those two? Apparently, no. other people have made this connection, but he made it independently. There's a Hall and Oates. Just look up uh, for you listening out there. Look up Hall and Oates and uh, Ducktales. And you'll find a Hell and Oats song from the mid '80s, from the early '80s that, wow. that I'm going that to Google inspi- this directly inspired after. the song. Was it is it, the same band, Man Eater, and it's Hall. No, it's not. Man-Eater. It's Hall and Oats. When I was a kid, I thought it was like Hall and Oats. Like, <laughs> Man, like I what, about, <laughs> what about Holland Oats? <laughs> Holland Oats. There yeah. you go. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know what the duck we're Rich talking clearly about, knows what the duck we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, see what I did. <laughs> The world is about to have a lot more Stop clapping. race cars, lasers, and It's much better if you just let it go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. She's, she's still going with this. <laughs> still going. So, tell, us, tell us about this duck blur. <laughs> so DuckTales, it's coming back. It's getting remastered. In and pog form. <laughs> it's coming to Wii U, <laughs> Xbox, and PSN this, is this the, summer. The NES game being remastered. The NES game, yeah. And what's it called? DuckTales remastered. 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 <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That would be great if it was called DuckTales Woo. Um, that would be the th- best. There's several things remarkable about this, one being that it's happening, but uh, one being that it, I think DuckTales is, is a licensing quagmire, and for way forward... Quackmire? Yeah, quagmire, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, a, ma- a Magicka McQuack... M- dispel Stop. quagmire. Okay. Dispel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no? No. Nope. But no, um, an amazing thing about this new game is that... Let me Magicka dispel these rumors, okay? Yes. Okay. I love nice. this. Let's keep it going. Anyway, so this game has expanded story content. Uh, yeah. you know, no, what this I is, that's exactly no, what I, I don't give Which just means right. cutscenes. Right. No, they're going to explain, apparently, why a duck can breathe on the moon. I don't give a shit about that. What really? I care, Eagle. What I care about is they, have to believe they no. got no. Scrooge can McDuck's voice actor, who's like yeah. 94 years old, to yes. do voiceovers <laughs> for this thing. That is amazing. I don't really age. care about the story. Oh, that's amazing. But no, I just think it's it's a it's a licensing nightmare to get mm-hmm. anything DuckTales to happen, I'm sure. And then for Way Forward, the company that did Shantae Racy's Revenge and A Boy and His Blob, which you can see they're in animation the, is coming yeah. from A Boy and His Blob. Oh my gosh, they're it's amazing. They're the perfect animation. company to do this because yeah, they, they're so They somehow minded. resurrected this Capcom yeah. Disney game. It's a Capcom game. Yeah. Licensed from an old Disney property. Like, they can't even put this stuff in the virtual console. It's so hard to license. Yeah, do you know who did the original graphic design for that game? Uh, the guy from I Mega Man 2. No, it was Keiji Inafune. Oh, right. Which I just oh. said, dude. You you weren't talking about him specifically. <laughs> of course he was. How could I know? Who else made Mega Man Two? A lot of people. Lots of people <laughs> I'm sure there. I'm sure there is the guy that did the music in KJ. There was Bun Bun, the woman Fish who Man, made the music, Yuki Chan's Papa. No, I knew it was the same guys as Mega Man. And um, also, it's the same music as Mega Man. Guys, Free. get along. This is NBC. It's no, a happy uh, he podcast. was he was in the office Shut last up, week, so I asked Shut him. Shut up, about... Rich. <laughs> really? Yeah, Inafune was in the office last week, so I asked him what he thought of the Ducktales game and he the the remake, and he didn't say anything about that because it's not the Japanese way to comment on other people's work. <laughs> but he didn't. Well, say how anything. did he deflect? Did he have a good deflection? He just started singing the no, song. No, he, he just. Yeah. Uh, he, yes, he, did he you get him... it on camera? <laughs> He shared his thoughts on the original DuckTales, if you'd be curious to hear that. What, what, is, what are they? Read them. He oh. said, it was one of the most memorable titles that I've ever worked on. It was the first time I'd worked with Disney, and I was honored that my work was greatly admired by them. I'm extremely happy to hear they're making the HD version of the game. Oh, there you go. During the development of that title, I had to work under many limitations and felt a lot of pressure, so it wasn't an easy process. However, in the end, I was able to create something that made them happy, so I was grateful for having that opportunity. Yeah. Make it all about for, uh, you, KG. Just, hey, he's quoting him. KG in a right. here. He's just, not just can, taking credit. Can we pause <laughs> the um, the no. DuckTales thing for one second? I'm going to have Parrish read something Thank that just not. got announced today. All right. What kind of voice do I read it in? Uh, uh, it's Ma Beagle. A, it's yes. cool. Update number 10. Manami Matsumai, the original composer of Mega Man, is writing songs for Shovel Knight, 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 Knight. There we go. Oh, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Clap, clap. Wow. <laughs> that, the, cool, the cool Shovel Knight game gets so, cooler. So yeah. I, without going too far into it, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a reader of Go Nintendo, and I noticed that they... How uh, dare you? Uh, they're good guys. They, they write about <laughs> Shovel... You don't really read Sh- Go Nintendo. No, I just... Yeah, you sort just of, absorb you just get, it. Yeah, yeah I, you I, sort I click of, around. <laughs> 
I, I RSS feed injected yeah. into my veins. Well, let me just point out that they do, uh, I would say, a half dozen Shovel Knight stories every day. And I still <laughs> have never enough. I've never looked at anything in them. So I really don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like Mr. Driller meets Mega Man, I'm, basically. I'm it calling that. it now. Yeah. Game of the Year. Okay. A what? Go Game eat. of the Year. I'm calling it now. Goody. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Happening. No one's taking me seriously. It is. Just watch. Sam, Please it wait. is. A, you, like it? you guys like this game? It though? is an eShop it exclusive. Really amazing. So. Okay. And 3DS PC. eShop. And PC. And Wii U. So that's Wii U. Not, that's not None exclusive, of those things are exclusive. Rich. It's eShop. It's Sam, on PC? Sam, it doesn't understand what the word means. It's not on Xbox Live or PSN. There we go. That's Wait, it, uh, it's yeah. literally an, a night with a shovel. It's Xbox yes. Live. What did you expect? Yes, it is. <laughs> that's I what I keep I don't know. <laughs> Sam, it's Xbox Live and PSN <laughs> inclusive. <laughs> no, he uses the shovel Excluded. just like Excluded. Scrooge McDuck uses his Excluding. cane as a pogo stick, too. He attacks uh, with it. For those of you guys who okay. don't know, yeah. Shovel Knight is like a 8-bit inspired retro game, kind of like what Jeremy was saying. It's on Kickstarter. It met its Kickstarter goals. Now they're just sort of, as they get more money, just adding more things. Apparently, like, the composer of yeah, Mega the Man composer Man. of the Mega Man songs, Mega which Man is what? awesome. Actually, Mega Man which game? Yeah, she's the first con- one. She's contributing oh, two that songs. Has crappy to this music. Game, no, the original Mega Man has great music. Yeah, uh, Gutsman's okay, but it's the basis of Mega Man, Rockman. Uh, yeah, all about the music. Yeah, uh, two on, it, has, it has Journey's Faithfully in there. That's the song that my wife and I danced to as our first dance at the wedding. Nice, you did Journey. Uh, yeah, did you guys we, have a Journey arcade machine? We didn't. There were no arcade machines. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it was a retro 60s theme, not retro 80s. Uh, nice. Beatles? Beatles music? Uh, a little bit. We, ours was pretty uh, pretty uh, exclusively uh, 60s, too, um, but we had a pawn machine. which barely made it to the 60s. Mm, no, it didn't. That was 72. It, was 72. it, it, looked, it looked appropriate next <laughs> to our it's, uh, it's wood panel photo what he booth. Wants. <laughs> we had a nice, nice old photo booth. Okay. I guess we can. Jeremy disapproves of your marriage. Sam. No, it's okay. That's <laughs> right. So do my parents. It's doomed to fail. It's built on a lie. <laughs> no, they don't. Wow. They think my wife is awesome. She's pretty cool. I met her. Thanks, man. Now that we have that covered. I have pictures covered, of her on my desk. Yeah, Mark has pictures <laughs> of my wife. This got awkward. Desk. Let's talk about uh, Soul Hackers, Jeremy. No, uh, wait. Let me, let me I say sure the full did download name. that game today and haven't had a chance to play it yet. All right. At least tell us the full name. What about that other Soul game? Soul Sacrifice? That's Soul on Vita. That's on Nintendo, World, uh, <laughs> Nintendo Voice Chat. So we're not going to talk about Shin Megami Tensei, okay. Devil, Devil Summoner, Summoner Soul, Soul Hackers. Hackers today, but it's coming to 3DS. It's I want to see that headline, that review headline that goes I mean, on to it's, yeah. it's not even going to say review, it's just going to say Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Summoner, Soul Hackers. Yeah. We could probably skip the Devil Summoner part, honestly. In other... You can just call that's really In other Mega Tenues, though. Right? Yeah, I mean, Atlas, Atlas Four was is announced. knocking it oh, out yeah. of the park. Getting localized. Yeah, Atlas is localizing uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4, the 3DS game. Uh, Not to be confused with Persona 4. And it will be... No. <laughs> no. Which is Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. Yeah. Right. This it's is just Shin Megami Tensei 4. This is the right. first uh, true sequel Not gold! To... Nope. <laughs> this is the first sequel to the original... Megaton series in 10 years. Right. It was the already last one out was in Japan. Nocturne for PS2. No, the game's not out in Japan yet. It's not out. The game Japan. is coming to Japan in May and I believe okay. to the US in July. And that's kind of what makes it noteworthy is that Alice has I never done a rapid localization. Like now. This. Rabbit? Given a month? I wrote this article. Um, right now. I mean, there's <laughs> there's been talk that it's going to be in July based right. on some stuff that's shown up in retailer databases. Okay. But in any case, it's going to be like two or three months after the Japanese release of the game, yeah, which yeah. is That's closer unusual because there's a lot of games. content. There's so much text in those games. There is. The best man at my wedding this past week was, in fact, the localizer for the game. What awesome. is he doing taking days off? I know, right? <laughs> uh, yes, it's my fault that the game might be delayed a little bit. <laughs> is he going to put fart Hate jokes in the game? at Possibly. Uh, no, I mean, he hasn't really... I, 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 don't, IGN. I don't bother yeah. him about the details of his work because I don't want to be that guy. But um, he has said, yeah, a journalist. He has said, yeah, no, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm a critic. I'm a critic, not a journalist. Okay. Um, Everyone's he, a critic. He has said not that. Uh, a journalist. Yes, but I'm a paid critic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got the quips today. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he told me that he's really proud of the localization work. It's been very involved. I haven't asked for specifics, but um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to play it. I'm sure it's going to be a very interesting game. Will um, there be demons? That's entirely possible. Will there, there might be gods as will well. Will there be gods? Will there be there samurais? Will be, um, some of the gods might be samurai. Holy God. Will there Free be Teddy? Are we still talking no, about that's Pokemon? Persona. I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei is the original Pokemon. Pokemon got the whole monster collecting thing from, from Shin Megami different. Tensei. Is that different. true? It's not true. It's not entirely true, but, <laughs> but, but the monster collecting, like... 
you know, collect monsters, make them your party members thing. That came from, like, it was done in Shin Megami the Tensei. Po well, the Pokemon first. don't want to kill you, though. Some of them might. Well, I wish they that's did. That's a whole other discussion. I wish the I Pokemon would try biology. and kill you. What came from biology? Collecting animals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes, but that's when you pin them to a board. That's I feel the like same thing as putting them inside of the You pin animals to boards, The Naruto Jeremy? games and the Dragon Ball games, like, I don't know. They all have the same name. Like, they. <laughs> I don't think. Right? It's like, do. how is this the new that's one? That's the same name as common. the last one was. <laughs> the last one was Naruto Shippuden Megami Tensei Tenkaichi. <laughs> I know. Dragon Ball Super Kaichi 4. Anyway. I agree. I agree with Mark it's Ryan and his cur <laughs> curmudgeonly outlook. So basically, you're alienated by the foreign name. No, he's like, alienated by bombs and bushes. Rich just... Right. <laughs> look, here's the thing about Rich. He just doesn't like stuff. Wait, it's just why? Too me? Easy. Wait, not what Rich. about me? Rich. This was about Sam Mark. and Mark. <laughs> What's just... No, I'll play... All I wanted to say is, why can't we get Bravely Default announced quicker? Like, you know... Because uh, Megami's not even laid out. Off all its yeah. people, so I just played my first Mega Ten game ever, sad. actually. That was sad. I played, uh... Um, Gosh. Memorable, it wasn't it? Well, Good. it's the only one for Virtual Boy. It's called Jack oh, Brothers. Jack Brothers. That's not even really... Yeah, Whoa. by Atlas. That's that's uh -oh. not really a Shin Megami Tensei. It's I mean, more of a Mega Ten game than the one series. you've ever played. What? Damn. It is. What does that even mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making... All right. Audrey, next okay. item. All right. Well, you guys aren't respecting my list. Why should I tell you? Do you have anything right. else on Can your I list? Can I anticipate this one with music? Go. Wait, you forgot to talk dun, about the Entry Odyssey dun, remake. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Just go back to DuckTales. <laughs> um, go on, Jeremy. Sam, did you know Jeremy's that they're remaking the original Entry Odyssey in the style of Entry Odyssey 4? I did not know. What? Uh, no, I, first of all, up. I didn't know that. That's and second of all, list. I will never finish Etrian Odyssey 4, so that frightens me. <laughs> it's so huge. It's huge. It is. Yeah. I still play it, but it's just like... I, I spent the past couple of days kind of going back and doing some of the post-game content. It's, wow. It's a lengthy game. but You are a critic. Uh, you beat a game for your job. Audrey, I bet that's I played Fire it on vacation. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. I bet the Lego yeah. game is at the 3DS event. Oh, yeah, that'll be out by then. Huh? Is it yeah. is it Lego Lego? It's the chase begins. Get it, cool. No, get it because his name is Chase. Mm. Get it. Get it now. Move on to the next time. Because right. it's like next. We're, next. Uh, we're prevented. <laughs> no more. We're never going to talk about Lego games on this podcast. Ever. Okay. <laughs> we spent way too much on that. Okay. Yeah, we did a whole podcast for that. Two. Two. Did we? Yeah, we did I wasn't one. invited to that one. Where we were all like talking Jerks? about shines and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> All right. All else I have on here is Luigi's Mansion. It's a good game. Yeah. Well, let me, let me... That wraps up this week's Nintendo <laughs> video chat. Let me just let me just point out that the uh, ice ice mansion is, I think, by far and away the coolest mansion in that game. It's really different. Is that the one that's really on screen cool. right now? It that's is the one where you have totally. to do like a trade quest that involves pumpkin Very possibly. soup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, my favorite part is the one we're watching right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's totally the ice mansion. Yeah, with the ice. We don't actually know what we're looking at, Twizzlings. <laughs> they probably could have figured that out yes. by now. But seriously, I dare you not to love Toads after playing this game. Oh, he's They're so funny. They're obscenely adorable. Did they just add in obscenely the new squeaky, squeaking effects from Toads? Is that a new thing? Some, some games have squeaky Toads. Really? Because it's funny, because when, when you get... See, he doesn't make any noise, and then when you call him, squeaky. you do like a high five, you know, sometimes. Yeah. And then when he follows you, he's... <laughs> It's so They've funny. never been that squeaky. They're always squealing and stuff. Are, are we spoiling hey. the game for you, Mark? I, I I do not care about spoilers in any game, let alone a Luigi game. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good, actually. Thanks. Spoiler: Toads are cute. <laughs> it's true. Now you know. I All have right. se I have seen one toad. Like. That's in it? the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. just, yeah. I was just like in life. <laughs> no. And it wasn't even like the character toad. It was just a small frog. <laughs> right. Yeah. I sucked him up with my vacuum cleaner. Speaking of toads, if you want some toad backstory, everyone go download and play Wario's Woods. That game is so good, and no one has played it. Well, I played it, and it's the first game to ever have an, or the only game to have an ESRB rating on it on the NES. Really? Yeah. Fact. Is that true? What did it, it was also it the true. very final American release for the NES. Wow. Official. Rated and, W. Uh, is it rated Wario? M? It is. AO? Uh, yeah, it was AO back then. Yeah. It, 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 I think it is AO. For I think it's mischief. CO, children only. <laughs> um, I like that, that game, what does it have in terms of Toad backstory? It's got Toad. Okay. <laughs> he's the main character, and he's fighting Wario. Okay, so does Super Mario Brothers, but... <laughs> no, no, but he's he's a hero. He's got a 
fight Wario and stop him from having weird woods with evil stuff in it. Okay. Uh, you know what? We should just, just have a podcast, podcast where Audrey <laughs> talks to herself the whole time. Just Audrey's, Audrey's stories. I don't think anyone wants that to happen. Are you, are you wrapping no, this one don't. up? I'm wrapping this one up. <laughs> because, <laughs> you should probably stop it. little known to the outside world, but uh, we're moving. We are moving. Yeah. Yeah, and, I gotta go And Audrey and Rich are not sitting next to each other anymore. Yeah. Is that true? Wah, wah. They're breaking Luke. up the team. Yeah. Breaking up the dream team. Uh, but Jeremy, I believe you are sitting next to Audrey. I don't think I am. No, you're not. Are you sitting not next to Brian room? Altano. I'd rather sit next I'm to Audrey. I bet she smells alone. better. Oh, no, you're not. I know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> probably guaranteed. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, we're just moving to the fourth floor of our office, though. And uh, next time you come for First Friday, which we are, uh, which we highly encourage you to do, yes. you only get to see half so as much of the office. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you'll get to see half as much of the office, but it'll be twice as interesting. That's I'm true. traumatized because they're moving Sterling Cooper. Now, where am I going to go for my whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> I ask you. Well, well, at least they're moving naps. it; they're not tearing it down. That's true. So, what he's talking about is that each of our uh, rooms in we're our office are moving from the third themed. floor to up to the fourth floor in our yeah. office building. Yeah, and we have a Sterling Cooper room, which is the room for Mad Men, that has uh, some totally anachronistic, incorrect '60s esque furniture. It's sweet. Which looks like crap. But it is. And uh, it used to have a full booze bar, but that slowly dwindled. Now it's so gone. Surprising. Sidecar <laughs> kind of. Uh... Yet our Jaegerator is always full. <laughs> I'm, real, that. I'm really disappointed to lose a uh, Rapture. Yeah, so yeah. Mark and I yeah, actually made it. But it's going to be Mark. replaced with Columbia, so hopefully we, that'll be worthwhile. Yeah, we decorated we'll a room in, in, on our old floor that, uh, in, you know, like Bioshock's Rapture. That and was just, you guys? Well, yeah. No, sort of. It was mostly Little was, Sin. Yeah, Little Sin, uh, this guy, uh, he works at Apple now, he did uh, the entire mural. And then actually Jessica Chobot did a hell of a lot of work on that room, too. It did yeah, all the hand, the hand print thing with all the pictures of yeah, people. Yeah, the butterfly. It's really cool. What I did is I filled a very thin a bucket of paint. Uh, with like brown paint and water and, and I made it look like there's brown drips all over the room. What I did was put painter's tape around the window so that we didn't actually accidentally yeah. paint the windows. But, but then, that was Mark, my contribution. But since we won the entire office decorating contest, thanks to the efforts of Little Sin and Jessica Chobot, we got to go out to lunch with them. Yep. The real treasure is the Mushroom Kingdom room. Yeah. All right, Jeremy? Jeremy Parrish decorated that is that correct. room. Yeah. Did you guys do that one? I did. And he, then, uh, he did that. I was there for one of the progressively gone in and just like removed things or messed them up. <laughs> really? Oh, no. It was really awesome at the very beginning like we had a green pipe mounted it's in the middle like... of the the conference table where we're like eh, and they ripped it off and someone stole the green warp pipe they could be I, I, anywhere it might be in there but but they like ripped it off the where we had it mounted in the center of the conference more table. important is what happens to the high roll room because that's like the best room so like what are what? they gonna do with that like, where's it gonna go that's that room's the best not room? the best room. by far i only I hold can, meetings in the high i can room. pick up that room what? and transport it in about it's got a giant minutes. sword in it how do you yeah, transport that, the drive because nothing nothing in that room is we just find the you chosen part of the room you can't pull the sword out of the stone we that just it's find in the because chosen you are not one. the chosen one i can pick up the sword of the stone itself that's what ganon should have done he's really kind of an idiot he just found an answer to all of the bad guys biggest problems well sure really all you need is a sledgehammer to deal with any Sword in the Stone mythology. Hey, Audrey. Who do you yeah. think the chosen stop one would be? I'll stop it when I get one. I feel like stopping it. And that's now. Later, Koopaloo.